my students in my last class that we have completed exercise 8.2 and while doing exercise 8.2 we got a few formula first we got 10 a plus b 10 a plus b is equal to 10 a plus 10 b divided by 10 a 1 minus 10 a 10 b and then i told you related to those two questions so that question number uh, two under two we have seen that 10 twice a twice 10 30 degree divided by 1 minus 10 square 30 degree so this is the formula came from 10 twice a then we got sine twice a and we have used this application as well when it was given sine twice a equal to twice sine a then find the value of a so these two application and formula both you got. Now today is now one more, same as previous two. That is cos twice a. Cos twice a we can write cos bracket a plus a. Then what it will be? It will be cos a cos a cos a into cos a minus sine a into sine a. Suppose if it is a plus b instead of a plus a. It will be cos a cos b minus sin a sin b. If it is plus, then middle one will be minus. If it is minus, then it will be plus. Clear? Then you see one thing. A into a is how much? A square. So cos a into cos a, what is that? It will be cos square a. It will be cos square a minus, minus sin square a. So, this is the first formula related to cos twice a. This is the first formula related to cos twice a. You got sine twice a, you got tan twice a, you got cos twice a. The cos twice a, other two formula as well, it is there. That is cos, see, in place of this, I can write cos square a minus bracket 1 minus cos square a then what is that it will be cos square a minus 1 plus cos square a then ultimately what is that twice cos square a minus 1 so this is the second one cos twice a so first one is cos square a minus sine square a second one is twice cos square a minus 1 then one more formula is there one more formula what is that it will be cos same way twice a equal to equal to 1 minus 2 sin square a so remember my dear students if cos twice a is there then there are three formulae and we have to use according to our need every time all these three will not be needed so that's the reason I told you according to your need you have to use it is it clear? okay the next so this is the thing we got last day and I have added one more for you now today is another interesting thing which I have in my previous class I have given the quadrant quadrant so, if you have copied that one, please open that one. That quadrant, 0 degree, 90 degree, or pi by 2, 180 degree, or pi, 270 degree, or 3 pi by 2, and 360 degree. So, let's see that one. Now, while we do this one, what is the application? What is the application? Uh, first, is that application rather I can say that objective is that by using that one you can solve the answer of the question solve the question given in your book as well as in reference book and in the long term perspective what is that in the long term perspective by using this one you can you can solve your other chapter 
maths, calculation and all. Okay? So that's the reason that, that this year you are using this part only in your, to solve in your book example and exercise. Or reference book. But in the higher class or in future, you will use not only in trigonometry only, but also you can use in other uh, subject as well related to science. So first of all, once again I will draw the part. And quadrant, it is very familiar to you, zero degree, here we start in the anti-clockwise direction, 90 degree, or pi by 2, then 180 degree, or pi, 270 degree, or pi by 3 pi by 2, and 360 degree or twice pi. Okay? We will not go in clockwise direction. We will go anti clockwise direction. And that's the reason in my previous class I have given. So that you can be aware of this one. Okay? So anti clockwise direction. It is just like a graph that four parts are there and each one is 90 degree. Okay? Now, in this quadrant, it is 0 degree, that means equal to 0 degree, less than equal to 90 degree. Here, theta is greater than 90, less than equal to 180 degree. Here, it is greater than 180 degree, less than equal to 270 degree. And here, it is 270 degree, greater, theta greater than 270 degree, less than equal to 360 degree. So these are the four conditions, okay? So lies between 0 to 90, the 90 to 180, then 180 to 270, then 270 to 360. Now, as of now, as of now, we will not come to the third and the fourth quadrant. Third and fourth quadrant you will get in your higher classes. We will concentrate only these two quadrants, that is first and second quadrant. Okay? Now, before that, I will ask you that how many trigonometric ratios? There are six trigonometric ratios. How many trigonometric ratios? There are six trigonometric ratios. And three are the reciprocal of the other three. Sine, cosec. Cos, sec. Tan, cot. Cot, tan. Okay? So let's see now. Now we'll try to manage in the quadrant itself so that you can remember for a long time. See, in this quadrant, it is lies between 0 degree to 90. It will not be more than 90. Then what is that? Suppose sine 90 degree minus theta. It will be cos theta. Because sine is related to cos theta and other and cos will be related to sin theta and other will be just like the reciprocal tan will be reciprocal of cot, cot will be reciprocal of tan, sec will be reciprocal of cos, cos will be reciprocal of sin. So see cos 90 degree minus theta equal to sin theta. Then, 90 degree minus theta equal to cot theta. Cosec, 90 degree minus theta equal to sec theta. Sec, 90 degree minus theta equal to cosec theta. 
and the last one cot 90 degree minus theta equal to 10 theta equal to 10 theta so this are the see sin cos tan cos x sec cot sin reciprocal cos cos reciprocal sec tan reciprocal cot now this is the thing that means in the first quadrant it should be less than 90 degree it will not be greater than 90 degree it will be not less than 0 degree as well then in the second quadrant you see second quadrant you will get 2 how it is 2 if I write 90 degree plus anything it will come to the second quadrant 90 degree suppose 90 degree plus plus half degree then also in the second quadrant, if I write 180 degree minus half degree, then also in the second quadrant. Yes or not? So here you got only 90 degree. 90 degree and theta different. But here you get 90 degree and plus and 180 degree and minus. So difference as well as plus. Difference as well as plus. Okay? So let's see. That 180 I'll not give today. I'll give in my next class. So that you should not be confused. Today we'll discuss only 90 degree minus theta and 90 degree plus theta. But remember in the second part, next class I'll give 180 degree relation also. 180 degree relation also. So let's see. Here sine 90 degree plus theta equal to cos theta. So no difference. 90 degree minus theta, 90 degree plus theta, same thing. But now you see cos 90 degree plus theta minus sin theta. See it is not matching. Sin theta is coming, but it is negative sin theta. As you know, in the linear equation in two variables, first quadrant all are positive, second quadrant x negative, y positive. Here, in that case, in the second quadrant, sine and its reciprocal positive. Sine and its, its reciprocal is positive. That's the reason when sine convert, it is positive posture. When cos convert, it is negative sine theta. So this is the thing. Now let's see next tan 90 degree plus theta. It will be minus cot theta. Then cosec cosec 90 degree plus theta equal to sec theta. So see sine and cos are positive. Are they all negative? Sec 90 degree plus theta equal to minus cosec cosec theta. So remember, here there may be confusion that on what condition we have to decide the sign. Sign will be deeper, depend on which ratio you are going to convert. Whether sign you are going to convert or you are going to convert cos or you are going to convert tan. If you are going to convert sine, then obviously it will be positive. But if you are going to convert cos, then it will be always negative. Clear, my dear student? So these are the 6 plus 6 that angle transformation from 90 degree plus theta and 90 degree minus theta I have shown. So please go through this thing, okay? So Remember one thing, in the first quadrant only six, second quadrant only, only, how many, six, five, I have written five, is it five? No, it is six and another six will be there, that one I will discuss in, next, in my next class. So ultimately in the second quadrant how many? Second quadrant also twelve, only first quadrant six. We can do 360, but we have not done. That's the reason I'm telling only, only 6. Remember that, okay? So this is the thing. So then I'll do some question. Let's see. 
Now, before I go to the exercise, let me see. Sign. Sign. One, one, zero degree. Convert it to an equate angle. Convert it to an equate angle. Then what it will be? Sign 90 degree plus 20 degree equal to minus cos 20 degree. Minus cos 20 degree. He will ask you sign 70 degree cos 65 degree convert these two within the range greater than greater than equal to 20 degree and less than equal to 50 degree less than equal to 50 degree See, sin 70 degree cos 65 degree. And I am asking you to convert these two angle in the range, within the range of 20 degree and 50 degree. Then how to do? See that one. See this one, sin 90 degree minus 20 degree. We got equal or less. The next, cos 90 degree minus 25 degree. Yes or not? See, 90 degree. So, 70, 70 and then 5, 65 degree. So, it falls under 20 and 50. So, then what it will be? This will be cos 20 degree and this will be sin 25 degree. Which quadrant can you tell me? Which quadrant it is? It is lies in the it is lies in the first quadrant. It is lies in the first quadrant. So what is the question I am asking? Convert sine 70 degree plus cos 65 degree in the range of in the range of theta greater than equal to 20 degree less than equal to 50 degree. Greater than equal to 20 degree less than equal to 45 degree. Okay? Is it clear? Okay. Now, so same procedure. Same procedure. We have to do some of these questions. So let's see. Now my dear student, I hope that all of you are copied. So let us rub this thing and then we'll start with the book question. With the book question. So what is that book question? Let's see. Exercise 8.3. Exercise 8.3. So first one, first one, one. See, it is asking, evaluate sine 18 degree cos 72 degree. And another interesting thing here is that no need to calculate too much. Because remember always, whatever angle will be there, sum of the two will be always equal to 90 degree. Okay? Then only you can convert. Otherwise we cannot convert. So, here you see, there is no hard and fast rule. Which one you want to convert? Any one you convert. You cannot convert both. If you convert both, then evaluation will not be processed. Okay? Or evaluation, evaluate, it will not take place. So let's see. Sign 90 degree minus 72 degree. You calculate why the 90 degree minus 72 degree is it 18 degree or not? Is it 18 degree? Okay. Then, sine 90 degree minus theta. What is that? Cos theta. So here it will be how much? It will be cos, cos 72 degree. Divided by cos 72 degree. Then ultimately what is that? 1. Okay. Now let's see another one. So Roman 2 I will not do. Now let's see. Out of Roman 3, Roman 4, any one I will do. So I will do Roman 4. Roman 4. So that by looking that one, you can solve the other one. So Roman 4. Cos sec 31 degree is sec 59 degree. Cos sec. Cos sec 39 degree. 
sec 51 degree. Uh, okay, I have changed. So let's see. 51 degree. In the book, it was given that 31 and 59. And I, well, I have written it as that 39 and 51. That means 1 and 9 I have replaced. So please, this is extra equation, not the book. Extra. So my dear student, please do the book Roman 4. Then any 1 you can buy. Cossack. 90 degree minus 50. One degree minus sec fifty one degree. What is that? It is sec fifty one degree minus sec fifty one degree. So ultimately, what is that? Zero. So we have done. So in uh, Roman four, also actual answer will be zero. Here also we got zero, but not the same question. So here, Roman 1, we have done. Question number 1, we have done. Now let's see question number 2. Question number 2 will do, and then 3 will do. 3, 4, 5. Very, very important. 3, 4, 5 are very, very important. Okay? So then, question number 2. Question number 2, I'll do 1. Okay, I'll do both. 2, Roman 1. LHS because right hand side you have to show. So what is that? 1045, 1023, 10, 1048, 10, 22, or 23, 23, 10, 23. 10, 23 degree, 10, 42 degree, and then 10, 67 degree, 10, 67 degree, 10, 67 degree, okay? Now, here, which one you have to convert? Whether there is any rule? Yes, obviously, there is a rule. What is that rule? Rule is that you have to see which two sum is 90 degree. Which two sum is 90 degree? If we add 23 and 67, it will be 90. If we add 48 and 42, that is also 90. So that's the reason. So that way, that means here, if I convert 10, 90 degree minus 42 degree, other one will suppose 10, 90 degree minus 67 degree, and then other two will remain same. There will be no change. 42 degree, 10, 67 degree. Then what is that? It will be caught. It will be caught. 42 degree into caught 67 degree into 1 by caught 42 degree into 1 by Caught 67 degree. Then you cut, you cut. So ultimately, what is the answer? Answer is 1. So this is ultimately is RTHS. So see, once again I will explain that how to decide that which one you are going to change. Every time it will be different. See here we have changed any one. Here there are four. So any two we have to change. If five, then you will find generally any one actual value. That is 30 degree, 0 degree, uh, 60 degree, 45 degree, 90 degree. Any one of these will be there. But other four, it will be in combination just like a complementary angle. Sum of measures of two angles is 90 degree. Then they are known as complementary angle. Here also complementary angle. And that's what we have changed. Okay, we got that. Now let's see sign uh, question number two, Roman two. So once again, Roman two, once again LHS. 
So what is that? Cos 38 degree cos 52 degree minus sine 38 degree sine 52 degree. So this is the question. Now here, just like other part, you see that which one you want to convert. Whether you will convert both or you will convert any one. We can convert any one. Both converting will not get answer. See, if we convert here cos and here one sign, relation will not be there. What the relation will be there? Sin 52 degree. Sin 52 degree will get cos 38 degree. Uh, cos 32 8 degree. Here also we get cos 38 degree. It will be there. But my suggestion is that <coughs> better to do any one part as a whole. See what will happen. Cos 90 degree minus 52 degree. Cos 90 degree minus 38 degree. Minus sine 38 degree sine 52 degree. Got it? Then why here yeah, what is that? Sine 52 degree sine 38 degree minus sine 38 degree sine 52 degree. Whether is it matching? See sine 52, 52, sine 38, 38. So ultimately it will be 0 that is RHS. So my dear student, I have done by using converting any, any one particular part. You can convert this part as well. Now my suggestion is that I have done by converting this part. You do by converting this part only. Then again you do. One this one you convert and another, another you convert this one. Another you convert this one. And then you see whether you are getting zero or not. So another two method I told you to do. Now next question number three and with that we will wind up from today's class. So question number three. Remember my dear student you have to practice. This chapter needs lot of practice. If you don't know because there is no particular formula that will put this one or that one. Not that. According to the need, there will be change. Okay? Just like a coronavirus, according to the environment, it is changing. Okay? So, let's see. 3. Remember, this is important question, my dear student. Important question. So, let's see. 10, uh, 10 twice a. 10 twice a. Equal to cot A minus 18 degree. Cot A minus 18 degree and they are asking to find the value of A. Remember, the process whatever I will do here, it will be same for question number 4, it will be same for question number 5, it will be same for question number five, 6 as well. And 7th one, and 7th one is that today's one whatever we have done, that convert that sign 58 degree and cos 38 degree in the range of 0 degree to for a 50 degree. That question number 7 is same. But 3, 4, 5, 6 almost same. Or 6 little bit different. Okay, so let's see. What is that? So first of all you convert you convert cot 90 degree minus twice a. What is that? Cot 90 degree minus twice a. It is 10 twice a. Then equal to cot a minus 18 degree. Now both side cot cot is there. So you compare that. 90 degree minus twice a. A minus 18 degree. Then what is that? 90 degree plus 18 degree equal to a plus twice a. 
then ultimately it will be thrice a equal to 118 degree. Ultimately, a equal to 36 degree. A equal to 36 degree. So same procedure you have to follow for question number 4, 5, and 6. A little bit different. You try. Otherwise, in my next video, I will upload that question number 6 solution as well. Till that time, I wind up. Thank you. Bye-bye.